Will Bitcoin break 36k resistance? Hello people, I'm the Naked Trader and today I will analyze Bitcoin USDT, PepsiCo, Acropolis USDT, Multiverse X USDT, Mask and Ethereum USDT. So will Bitcoin break the 36k resistance? This week was Bitcoin was ranging between 34 and 36k. Will it be able to break the 36k resistance? Let's find it out in today's analysis. By the way, I would appreciate a lot if you are not a member yet, just subscribe, press that subscribe button. Also smash the like button if you don't mind. And now we will kick off with the overview monthly monthly overview of the cryptos. So how was October so far? It was very green, a lot of amazing numbers here, 158% EHEX, CAKE 86%, 107% Injective Protocol, Multiverse X 100%, almost everything went up, only Feel Not Maker XRD, and let's change to the weekly. Weekly performance also green. A few more red ones, but overall it's been a very good week. So October was very amazing. How is it today? Today also green overall. So Multiverse X, Mutable X, Cake, Gas, very nice. So let's go to CoinMarketCap. How are we doing here? We have a market cap of 1.32 trillion, 24 hour volume of 29 billion. The fear and greed index is 72, which indicates greed. So that's very nice. Bull market sentiment. The top 10 coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Dogecoin and Tron. So from here, we will go to the stock market overview. This is the monthly performance of last month. Overall, more green than red. So Microsoft more than 10% up, Amazon more than 10% up, Google down 4%, Tesla went down 15. So overall, slightly more green than red. So is this the turning point? Let's go to the one week performance. And that's amazing. Almost everything's green. So last week has been an amazing week. Microsoft, NVIDIA, GPM, Apple, Google, Meta, Tesla, Amazon, everything went up. So that's nice. And from here, we will go to the monthly chart of Bitcoin. So October was a very nice month. We closed high, very high. Let's see how high. Thirty-four thousand six hundred sixty-one. Very nice. And let's see what November will do. You see, we are entering the zone of the all-time highs because this was support before and now we're trying to break that entering the all-time high areas so interesting what will november do let's change to the weekly about 12 hours to close today's candle and that is interesting because if we close this candle then that is already an entering of the all-time high area. I will highlight it. Here we are entering this area. Last week was no gain yet, but this week is a gain. So interesting. Okay. I will make last week's chart visible in a minute. Yes. 
So, and let's change to the daily. I will remove some levels which are not important for now anymore. Okay, so last week. Oh, this was the analyzer from two weeks ago. So if you had played the short, then you could have had more than 4%. So congratulations, and you're probably still in it, but already took a lot of profits. Okay, so what can we expect the coming days? Okay. So I expect the, the scenarios will remain the same. Either we reject where we are now at 36 and we will have retracement until somewhere around 30,400 and trying to pull, uh, go up from there. Or we will gain strong either test 40, 41,000 or 46,000 so the test of 41,000 pullback entry around 36,000 and trying to go higher or we test the 46,000 pullback entry around 37,800 and trying to go higher I will add another scenario because we are holding so long over here this one is still nice. An entry here around 29,800. So if the 30,498 is lost, they, they all can function as support levels, but 29,880 is nice. Yeah, from here I will go to PepsiCo Incorporated, starting at the monthly chart. A few months ago, it was at the all-time high of $196. And let's see what's going on now. I'll add some levels. Okay, so what happened? October, it was a loss of the range. I will show you. So this was the monthly low, which caused the all-time high. And here we have a monthly loss of the this impulse. And now let's see what will happen. Let's change to the weekly. At the weekly, you can see it too. Okay. This first impulse was strong. Second impulse was more weak. And then here, weekly losses of this whole top range. And now also loss, losses of this low. Okay. This one too. Okay, let me remove the brushes. Oh. 
So what can we expect? Okay, let me add some levels for the coming days. Either a rejection here at 170. And then an entry around 133. I'm trying to go up from there. Where the rejection will be a little higher around 180 then i expect the pullback to end a little higher around 150 trying to go up from there and if it managed to gain the 180 then a pullback with the entry around 170 and trying to test the all-time highs. Okay. And worst case scenario, it will go down to 122 and go up from there. So four possible scenarios for PepsiCo Incorporated and from PepsiCo I will go to Acropolis USDT starting at the weekly chart okay nice rally how much is it In August it went up 353 percent wow okay and now it's entering the start of the impulse okay let me add some levels Okay, let's change to the daily. What can we find here? So for a rejection of the drop off, but it is holding the lows, so we have some compression. Okay. Let me add some scenarios for the coming days. If it managed to break the point oh oh six four and let's say a test of oh oh eight one pullback at 0645 and then aiming for the 0.01 cent and if it failed to hold support then the next test is here at the start of the impulse at, at 0 0.00456 trying to go up from there 
and if it loses support at 0 0.00456 then the next next test will be here at 00341 trying to go up from there okay How much will it be? Well, I want to change to the four hour. Yeah, you can still enter here at point oh oh five seven six. I'm trying to aim for the 0 0.0645. How much will that be? 11% with a potential of a lot more. Okay, change to the daily. So these are the four scenarios for Acropolis USDT. And from Acropolis, I will go to Multiverse X starting at the weekly chart and let me add some scenarios no sorry let me add some levels Okay, and let's change to the daily. Let's change to the four hour, one hour, 15 minutes. Interesting. Okay. So what do we see? We see that we have gained the drop off over here, the $31 daily gains. And now I prefer to see a daily gain of the $37, $35 over here. So that can be tomorrow if today's, today's candle close above and tomorrow's candle will open and close above too. Then tomorrow there will be a daily gain. Okay, and then let me add some possible scenarios. Okay, if we see a daily gain tomorrow, then we can expect a pullback. And then you can either decide to enter aggressive around 37, 35 and trying to go up from there or more defensive and that is around 32, 37 but only after a daily gain because else it can function as a lower high on the higher time frame Okay. If there is no daily gain and um, tomorrow, 
then it can also either go back to the start of the impulse and that is around 29.38 and if it loses support over there even lower to 24.52 but this will be known after tomorrow display is a potential of 15 and 40 the aggressive entry I would aim for where's my brush yeah I would aim for this this one the entry at 3237 but after a daily gain above here yeah so that can be after tomorrow okay from multiverse x usdt i will go to mask starting at the monthly chart wow so last year february it was at the all-time highs 23,160 and it went down almost 60 percent and now it's around 10,000 okay let me add some levels see if we can find some interesting entries now we'll change to the weekly Okay. So what do we see? The drop off over here caused the low. Tried to go up. Tested this support of the range here. Rejected. Tested again. Bam. And it goes lower. Let me change to the daily. So, what can we expect now? Let me add some possible scenarios. So, either entry here at 9120 and trying to go up from there. But I would recommend to wait for the lower time frame confirmation. And I would like to see a daily time frame confirmation. And what do I mean with that? So we test, we go lower. Then there's a gain of the last drop off. And we go higher. So entry is here that's an example yeah okay if it loses support of 9120 then the next entry is at 7610 and trying to go up from there In worst case it will go either to 6000 260 so yeah wait for lower time frame confirmation at least daily daily reversal and then you can enter i think this is a nice play around 7610 
with a potential of 20% or even more. 50, 74, that's very nice. Yes. And from Mask, I will go to Ethereum USDT. Starting at the monthly chart. It's still looking weaker than Bitcoin currently. But if it goes up, then it's about to explode, I think. There's a lot of pressure. So if it goes up, then it will go either straight to 3000 levels. You can see it, it's, it's holding the, the lows at the monthly. Very nice. So it's very compressed and I expect either a big spike up or down. We need to choose now. Let me remove the brushes. And let's change to the weekly. Okay, if today's candle close above 8 1850 then we can have a weekly gain on next week candle if it opens and close above 1850 so let me show the weekly levels interesting And I will show last week's scenarios and change to the daily. So if you entered last week's long, then you have already more than 6% profit. So congratulations. And if you are in the long from two weeks ago, then you have already more than 21% profits. So congratulations. Okay, let me remove some scenarios. This one is not valid currently. Okay. So what will happen the coming days? Either we test the 2142 pullback entry around 1845 and then trying to break the 2142. So this scenario is still valid. This one also. So if it's rejecting the 1890 then a pullback I will expect it higher a pullback around 1776 that's the start of the whole impulse and then trying to go up from there And if it loses the support level of 1776, then an entry around 1640. So this one is also still valid. Okay, so these are the scenarios for Ethereum USDT. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. Enjoy your Sunday. Have a green coming week. Make some profits. Join Team Naked Trader. And see you guys Wednesday. Bye-bye.